I have a concern with what God, I think, is doing in your generation and how it could so easily be short-circuited. I really do believe God is doing a remarkable thing in the young adult generation in America. There are all kinds of movements. Some of these movements don't even know the others exist. And they consist of tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of young people. It is remarkable. You go from coast to coast and northwest to northeast to south and you find these amazing outcroppings of young people who are passionate for the supremacy of God. They're passionate for doctrine. They're passionate for biblical truth. They're passionate for global concerns and world evangelization. And so I'm concerned when I see what could be Achilles' heels that could break the whole thing open and cause it to just dribble away into nothingness. And one of those things is the disconnect, the disconnect between the majesty of God and the movies you watch. Just to choose an example. There's an awakening to the majesty of God around the country. There's a filling of hearts with God-centered, Christ-exalting, Bible-saturated songs. It is remarkable that in the contemporary worship awakening, if you leave all the fluff to the side, at the center, the majesty of the God who shines through is most remarkable. There's the, the giving of zeal for truth and biblical doctrine back and forth among young people and I'm concerned that there are some loose wires dangling between the majesty of God that is sung about in the services it causes people to soar with a kind of emotional euphoria about the greatness of God and the wires of our daily practical detailed lives they dangle disconnected between big thoughts about God and big appetites for beer. They dangle disconnected between infinite purity of God and the lure of pornography. They dangle disconnected between the majesty of Christ and the carelessly attended default weekend movie. No questions asked, it's just a thing to do. They dangle disconnected between white hot, all satisfying divine holiness and hip huggers and plunging necklines. As long as these wires dangle, disconnected, the supremacy of God in our songs and the passion for personal holiness in our daily lives are not going to be working the way they're supposed to. And the whole movement could come apart. 